Another thing that can help you cope with the feelings of trying to make yourself feel better when you're not taking any drugs or alcohol, which was making you feel better when you were taking it. Um, the only other thing that you can do, you've obviously heard about it, it's hobbies or interests. Now, for me, what I've, what I've understood is uh, these hobbies and interests release that same chemical, which is dopamine. And the only way it releases it is through reward. And the only way you get the reward is when you learn something. So it's not essential that you need to have known about this hobby or interest before. Um, I would say it would be something that's new to you, something that you'd be able to learn more about because then it's going to be releasing dopamine through the reward of learning within your brain. And that's what you want. So if you want that same effect through drugs that you, on alcohol that you used to get, that would give you that excitement and that happiness feeling, then it'd be something that you need to learn, something brand new that you've never done before. Put your head into it and learn. Yes, initially it will be hard, but slowly, slowly you'll get the hang of it. And if you just learn one little small thing each and every time, you give an hour to it or two hours to it, that will give you the release of, of the dopamine. And the more you do it, the more it make you feel better and that is obviously way better than any sort of drug or alcohol and it won't give you that crash that a drug and alcohol does um it won't come back worse um but it will give you that temporary feeling it's not a cure it is a solution to make you feel better but it's not a cure it's not gonna recover you in any sort of way but it will substitute it um, whereas, you know, where you'd be taking drug or, uh, drug or alcohol, so you'd substitute that. But a cure would be obviously sharing out your feelings and emotions uh, because that's what it is with anxiety and depression. That's the main thing that you need to do because you're time traveling, you want to get back into the present. But there are some things that, you know, haven't been um, addressed within your brain or your mind. So sharing would be the cure, but yes, a, substitu a substitution instead of the drug and how to cope with it and get the same dopamine release um, would be hobbies and interests. Find something, pick something up new. And I know a lot of people have said that there's nothing I'm interested in. And oh my God, there is so many things in this world. I can't understand how somebody doesn't have any sort of interest. What happens is because you've been smashing them dopamine receptors of yours what happens is you just can't learn anything new no more it, because you smashed it so much it doesn't want you to learn you don't want to learn anymore and you just want to go through the quick fix you have to go through some sort of discomfort you have to come out of your comfort zone and when you come out of your comfort zone and you try something new it will be hard initially especially if you've been smashing the dopamine receptors but once you've overcome that and you've hit yourself in. I remember I started making music at my time, um, DJing and so forth. Um, initially it was hard. It was something I was just doing for nothing, passing time, you know, you're bored, stuff like that, which obviously we are when, when, when uh, we're addicted to something. Uh, the boredom is one of our main problems. So when I started to get my head around things, I started to improve, I started to feel better and I started to get that dopamine without any sort of substance within my life and I am so happy I did that. Okay.